Hi guys, Rob here, Uprise Engineering. Welcome back. Uh, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, click the little bell thing, whatever, whatever they do there. Um, we're here today because obviously we've built ourselves a brand new TP96. Um, I'm a user of a 96 myself as a personal trailer. It was three years old uh, and we kind of outdated ourselves a little bit so it was time for a bit of a freshen up. Um, built ourselves the latest model which I'll give you a bit of a run through um, of some of those changes as well and how we've laid this trailer out a little different to what we did in the last build as well. So starting off here obviously we could Typical same front box, but this front box now, because we now have a whale tail and central locking within a 96, this front box is 70 mil taller, which has gained a lot of top shelf space, um, which has allowed us to hang the oven and then have storage underneath, as you can see here for our cups and bits and pieces. Uh, we, we're running a 60 litre Engel fridge, uh, travel buddy oven, and uh, yeah, keep coming and I'll show you a bit more around it. Side drawer, which in my trailer doesn't have a lot of items. First aid kit, stubby holder. Um, moving on, we've sort of changed things up a little bit from the last build where we've added in the additional draw system. Uh, by adding this in and moving the drop saw slide over, it's actually giving us uh, a lot of versatility in uh, organization and how we utilize all our different tools in different locations. So. As you can see, we've got two big large drawers here, which are now holding a lot of my pen power tools, um, which is a really good system because they're right, obviously next to charging stations. We've got battery mounts here, so everything's nice and user friendly. Um, shelving platforms, which we're still setting this out, so uh, there's still a lot of items to sort of go in here. We've got nail bags, we've got a box full of miscellaneous sort of stuff, radios. Um, we've got a little strap up here which is holding all our spray cans and little bits and pieces that sort of get lost in the trailer otherwise. Um, obviously drop saw slide, which is uh, very, very handy, save your back. Um, we actually got these cool little silicon mount holders which again is, is fantastic, those little tubes don't get lost uh, within the trailer, they've got a, a spot, everything's got a spot and that's, that's sort of how we like to, to run things. Um, it's about organisation, it's about time, saving time. Um, on the management wall obviously we've got a lot going on. Um, we have a Red Arc 1500 watt inverter, a BM320 management system with Red Vision display. They're just items that are a whole new level, um, especially if you're an on-off-grid on um, type of worker. Um, they're just, they're awesome. Um, so we've got circuit board, which we've plugged all our charges into, mounted all our charges on the wall, and we've got that circuit board actually plugged into the 240 power point. Um, so when we plug in mains power on the side of the trailer, this obviously activates the GPOs and we can charge the trailer's batteries plus all our tool batteries via 240. If we are on site with no power, we can actually disconnect the circuit board and plug it straight into the bottom of the inverter and be off grid still charging all our tool batteries. So it's about being organized and not relying on power all the time. You can, you can keep things going. Um, obviously we've got internal lighting. Um, Right through, we got more switches there for my external floodlights. USB charger, 12 volt socket. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty good setup. It suits what we do. Um, it's a display of really what can be done within one of these trailers. Uh, we do more of this sort of setup than we do of a standard build these days. Um, I've got my gas bottle at the back because I run a little caddy welder, which I'll take you around the other side in a minute and show you that, so yeah. Let's go to the rear and we'll, uh, we'll have a look and I'll show you a little bit more about it. So moving on to the rear section, obviously this is a 
more designed for fixings and a lot more storage. So you got rear shelving platforms, which personally myself, I run, you know, tactic storage boxes. And now this trailer may not suit all of you. And that's fine because it's for me. And your setup may be a little bit different than mine and different from somebody else's. So, but it gives you an idea of what can be done and how organized things can be within a Pro Trade Series 96. So this trailer is more not suited to one trade. This is my shed inside my shed. So it has everything from, you know, building to concreting, to plastering, to tiling, to everything. So it's a lot of mixture. So I've got tubs up here, which hold a lot of plumbing fittings and bits and pieces. I've got a lot of paint, um, which holds rollers and, and paint brushes and everything as well. A little bit of organisation and some miscellaneous screws and bits and pieces we, we sort of gather over time. Um, again, I've just got little tubs full of spare little latches and locks and um, miscellaneous sort of stuff. Hole saws, you know, assortments of nails and uh, tiling spaces. We've got cutting and sanding, we've got timber screws, we've got metal screws, we've got, um, you know, organisation for Pazlo. So, you know, all little bits and pieces are just, just, they're just there, they're just ready to rock and roll. That's how I sort of like it. Rear drawer systems, these are another level. Like, these are something you've, you don't find in another trailer. Like, the, the 96 at being 1.8 metres wide allows us to have quite a wide drawer. We can actually go quite long. Now, we've changed this rear drawer system uh, er, late last year from draw runners to now full C-section channel with bull bearings. Um, so this is a bulletproof draw system that is smooth, it's fast, and you have to be quite careful because when you have a bit of weight in it, it'll move quite fast if you're on a hill. Um, so as you can see, the size capacity of this draw, that's a table saw. It fits in my rear drawer. We've got lathe levels, we've got tubs which hold sanding and bits and pieces, another tub which circular saws and um, planers, we've got the Pazway bag. It's just, there's just so much room within that drawer. This drawer here is a, is a little bit shorter, um, but that's holding my thicknesser in here, chainsaw, I've got tiling gear, concreting trowels, everything. So it's, it's a mixture of items. Um, it's a really good system to have a lot of this big heavy stuff within the side of this drawer because as it goes in, that weight is actually distributed over the axles. It's the centre of the trailer. So it's not pushing all the weight forward. We're not pushing all the weight back. We're kind of centralising that weight. So it works. Um, it's been proven. And it's giving me, by having that thickness uh, moved from the other side of the drawer system, which I had in my last trailer, to this rear, um, it's actually given me a lot more usable space as well. And it's allowed me with the new drawer system over there to start taking a lot of tubs and tools out of here and put over there. So that's the rear section and we'll keep going. All right, over to the right side of the trailer. Obviously, this is a standard setup in a 96. These drawer systems um, shelving platforms, is, is, again, all standard. And this trailer is not customised in any way to suit myself. This is a standard TP96 with an additional draw system being added to it. Um, and then we've just fitted all my gear out to it. So this side here, shelving platform which holds me saw tables, me trestles, it's got uh, roller broom handles, crowbar, I've got a little trimmer and bits and pieces up there, two foot squares. There's just so much room up there and as I said, everyone does something different. I've seen so, so many setups um, and everyone's different. Uh, for me, I run a little caddy welder, a volley by trade, so I, I do a lot of smaller brackets and things as well, um, which is handy just to have in here. Uh, again, tubs full of miscellaneous sort of bits and pieces related to welding. Uh, my welding helmet and gloves and all that will start going in there as well. But these <coughs> toolbox systems are just organised. And I talk to so many tradies that 
have to empty half their trailer out, find a box and all their fittings and bits and pieces are down the bottom. It, you know, it takes too long, you're losing too much time. So in here, it's about organisation. So see, this drawer is all about cutting. Cutting, 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 hand chisels. This one here, squares, string lines, rulers, pencils. Um, it's just about organisation. Everybody will have different stuff and use it for different things. I've got sockets and spanners and all sorts of stuff right through there. Um, again, we've got hand tools. So it works for me. As I said, this is my sh shared away from my shed. So 90% of my gear's in here at the moment. Um, we all side drawers, obviously you get both sides couple of ratchet straps and stuff. I've just got so much more space within this trailer, usable space, which I guess I don't have enough gear to fill it. And I like that because I like to have room because there's nothing worse than you've got to call past Bunnings and buy a heap of bits and pieces and you actually can't fit it in your trailer and you have to throw it all in the back seat of your ute. So this works for me. Um, Opposite side of the fridge slide, obviously, we've got a, quite a large DeWalt vacuum. I've got a little Kasha gurney, jerry can. We've got a hose, extension leads, tile cutter, and there's just there's just so much room within inside this trailer still. Um, and it's, it's working, and that's, that's my setup so far. Changed a few little things. We just put the ladder up there. Uh, this time we've got broom handle and stuff on the front. Um, and we're still going through setting this trailer up, so... This will have a 3035 track armour box on top for all my straight edges, um, all my longer levels and things as well, but we completely sold out of track armour. I don't even have one for my own trailer. So in about two and a half weeks, uh, all new stock will be in for track armour and we'll load one up on, on here as well. So yeah, so that's it guys. I hope you really enjoyed sort of coming for a bit of a wander with me and checking out the new build and the new trailer. Um, as I said, there's there's a lot of little changes like central locking, taller boxes. Um, we've uh, upgraded roof rails, so rather than flat plate, we've actually started folding all that. And um, you can actually see that here, where it's not just a flat plate anymore, it's actually a press section. Um, so it's a lot more sturdier, stronger application. Uh, rear drawer systems, again, upgraded. So it was time for me to, to really step up and have a trailer that presents what we do today. Because like any any good business over time you develop, uh, you find better ways to do things, you keep improving and you keep moving forward and uh, that's a true example of, of what we do. So again, thanks for your support, I'll see you next time.